In today's video, I am going to be breaking down Alir Malouk, who is a ninth grade basketball player in the States, who is six foot ten, has handles, who can shoot the ball. This kid is actually quite amazing. This was a video that was sent to me from a subscriber, and I was amazed, and I really wanted to do a breakdown, so let's get down and let's check out this amazing young basketball player. So first off, his shot is very, very good. So as we can see here, he has what looks to be, from this at least frame rate, he has three fingers on the ball at this point, just about to release, which means to me that it's probably going to go off of his middle finger last. From there, he has a very high release point, which is very good. We can see that his elbow is well above his forehead. Now, something that really does catch me off guard is, of course, his ability to shoot and handle the ball. As we can see here, he's able to really handle that ball. He's not exactly being pressured, but he's not afraid to shoot that ball in front of another defender. He has lots of good backwards rotation on his shot as well. Here we can see him getting that defensive rebound, being able to handle that ball like a point guard, getting down court, and then finishing with a little bit of contact at the rim with a dunk. He's also extremely good at blocking shots as well, but he is 6 foot 10, so that's going to happen. This kid as well is extremely good at passing. We can see he's got a very good left-handed pass there. He was a right-handed player from what I I've seen in the video but here we can see that Elir Miluk is also a very good passer as well with that baseline drive because this defender was not paying attention he should have been paying a little bit more attention onto him he should have been playing a little bit more deeper along the baseline but either way that's a very good cut very good eyes for the open court here for that player but very good pass as well by the big man as I was mentioning, this this guy was a very good passer, but Alir Maluk was able to really run the floor quite well as well. Also, the coordination aspect is there as well. Usually when you see kids at this height, at the grade 8, grade 9, grade 10 level, they're usually really uncoordinated. And for, them, for him to be able to get up there, get a tip slam like this with one hand is very impressive. Also, his ability to run the screen and roll, and number 446 is very good at being able to pass that ball, but... Just his ability to run that screen and roll, finish with a dunk is very impressive. He's also very good at being able to turn around and shoot as well. Now, there's a reason why. A lot of players at his height are going to be able to do things like this if they do one thing. That one thing being his ability to really work his core. Now, he may not be the biggest, bulkiest player. He's not going to be at 6'10 in grade 9. He will be able to develop that later on. However, if you are a young player who is growing taller or faster than many others at your age, working your core is going to be very important with your coordination. He's also not afraid to mix it up in the low post either. I really like his game. As soon as he gets that defensive rebound, he's looking up court. He's looking to see what he's able to do. He's able to beat most players off the dribble. He's taking very long strides. He's very competent being able to dribble that ball, and he's able to get up for the dunks. This is a very strong player. I really do like his ability to really want to battle it down low. Here, he's actually very, very good. So what we can see here is he gets that ball. This, this defender's playing some pretty strong defense. There's not much you can do at that age, especially when you're talking about somebody who's six foot ten. But what I really do like is when he goes to attack, we can see that he has his left leg pushing shoulder also over top of his left leg. Now, if he was to push and have that left leg right here instead, what you would see is obviously an offensive foul, but because he's extending his leg saying, this is my ground, this player tries to jump over top of him, which is usually a mistake. But from there, he's able to then lead with his shoulder because he's also led with his foot at the same time, which allows him to then power hop on two feet. He's able to then go up. And I would have just, if I was him, I would have tried to really dunk that on the, on the kid. But uh, either way, he was able to finish that with a very nice layup. So if you're a taller player like him, maybe you should really work on your core, your core stability. There's a lot of different ways you can do this. You can use yoga balls. You can use a BOSU balls. You can just use regular, just the floor and planks even. But you really want to try and work on your stability, really work on your core by using instability training. And that is going to to really help you if you are growing fast. So if you're going through a growth spurt right now, this is definitely going to be able to help you as a player, especially if you're getting close to the height of, of course, six foot ten at a very young age. 
I hope that this video has helped you. If it has, hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next time.